Hello fellow aviators, aviation lovers and simulation enthusiasts. Welcome to Pilot Dreams channel and today we're gonna learn how to start the 737 engines. Our host for today is gonna be a real 737 pilot. That will be me, so nice to meet you. So as I said, in today's video we're gonna learn how to start the 737 engines. We're gonna go over the procedure and in the end we're gonna learn also how to deal with malfunctions during the startup procedure. So without further ado, let's start. Engine startup can be performed after we finish the pushback or it can be performed during the pushback depending on your company policy. On today's video we will do it after we finish the pushback, we are standing, uh, the parking brake as you can see are set, everything is ready, we got ground crew permission and we're ready to go. So the procedure starts with select the secondary engine indication by the first officer. The way to do that, it's already on but you can see if we press the engine uh, button over here. It brings on the second generator engine indications and what we'll do we'll bring them on so it would be easier for us to see the captain calls for packs off and the first officer shuts off the packs the reason we do it is to get maximum bleeder for the start uh, procedure so let's turn off the packs packs off the captain announces the start sequence so something like starting engine 2 and then 1 i'm reviewing the reason for an aborted engine start first reason is if EGD does not increase within 15 seconds from moving the start lever to idle detent. Second reason, if N1 and N2 are not increasing together with the EGT. Third reason should be if EGT reaches the red line. And the fourth reason is if we don't have oil pressure indication while the engine is stabilized at idle. And the fifth reason is any severe malfunction in the engine that requires us to abort the engine start, for example an engine fire or an engine tailpipe fire during start. So now let's perform the startup and pay attention to all the things we talked about. Start number two, moving the switch to GRD position. In the indication we can see start valve is open for number two. We can see an increase of N2, slight increase of N1, and we're waiting for 25%. At 25%, moving number two to idle detent, looking for fuel flow, Fuel flow is increasing. Within 15 seconds, looking for EGT response. We have EGT response. Looking for N1 and N2 increasing together with EGT. That is okay. And now checking to see that everything goes normal in the, during the start process. When N2 reaches 56, the start switch should jump back to off starter is off and the first officer should announce starter cutout verify that the oil pressure indication is shown that is okay and then verify all engine parameters are within normal we can see that everything looks okay these are the typical numbers that we're going to see after a startup let's review that the start switch jumped back to off position we can see the start switch is back to off position if it stays on GRD the first officer should manually switch it from GRD to off now the captain will call start number two the first officer will reply starting number two move the switch to GRD same process again start valve is open N2 is starting to increase slight increase in N1 waiting for 25% or max motor speed At 25%, move number 1 to idle detent. Look for fuel flow increment. We got it. Look for EGT response within 15 seconds. We got it. Look for N1 and N2 rising together with EGT. Checked as well. Monitor engine parameters and make sure EGT doesn't cross the red line. Sorry, and monitor engine parameters and make sure EGT does not cross the red line over here. 56 you heard the switch jumping off to off first officer announces starter cutout once this light is off we have oil pressure indications engine parameters are within normal and the startup sequence and procedure is completed what will happen next is that the captain will inform the ground ground startup is completed please prepare the aircraft for taxi and waiting for your hand signals and the ground will answer our disconnecting communication 
have a nice flight and see you on the right side with the pin or on the left side with the pin the pin of course is the nose wheel steering pin the safety pin for that so we can pressurize hydraulic aid during pushback this is the end of the start sequence so we're back with engine number one shut down and now we're going to start it again during this task process we're going to have a malfunction so pay attention and look if you can find it once we find it let's see how we deal with it so again the captain called for start engine number one and the first officer will move the start switch to GRD mode. Again, look for uh, N2 increase and a slight increase in N1. At 25%, we're going to move the start lever to idle detent. We have an EGT increase. N1 and N2 increase. Okay, and now we have a fire. So first of all, cut the bell. Number one fire, start lever number one, cut off. Fire switch number one, pull. If the fire switch continues to illuminate, rotate. Start your stopper for, th for 30 seconds. We're waiting 30 seconds. At the meantime, we can start preparing the aircraft for for evacuation in case it's needed so we can put the speed brakes down and ask the first officer to move the flaps to 40 and we see the fire switch is not illuminated anymore that means the fire is extinguished if we look at it from the first officer side we can see it says here that the left bottle is discharged the fire switch is at off of course, at the same time, we're going to announce Mayday and ask for the tower to send the fire brigades. We're going to inform the ground crew. In case the fire is controlled, as in this case, we don't need emergency evacuation. So we'll just wait for somebody to come. We can shut down the second engine and uh, prepare for full shutdown. At the same time, it's very important to make an announcement over in the PA for the passengers and the cabin crew. So nobody will panic and start an emergency evacuation without a real need for that. So guys, that is it for today. We learned how to start the 737 engines. We learned how to deal with malfunctions during startup. Our next video is going to be about the before taxi procedure. And until next time, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and fly safe. Goodbye.